Hey guys, this is Tim with TM Media again. It's been a while since I've um, made a recording or, or a video. Apologize for that. I've just um, been, go been busy and I've been going through a transition with computers. I used to be a very die-hard Windows person and you figure Windows. Designers don't use Windows. I do. So, or I did. So, I was not going to buy a Mac ever. I used it back in Oh, back in the 90s, and I just never liked it. So I continued with Mac, or I continued with Windows until um, a little thing called Vista came out. So I have now switched over, over to a Mac, and the Macs are a heck of a lot better than I remember them. So I've kind of fallen in love with a Mac, and now I am starting to do more videos. I just updated to Snow Leopard, so they have a little bit better video. Um, system before you could even, that was one thing I didn't like about the Mac the the uh, they didn't seem like to have a very easy software to shoot video and send it to someone but Snow Leopard now they do so anyways so I'll, I'll try to get some more videos out there because this will be a lot easier to do and anyways let me answer a question I have from someone uh, someone asked me how much do you expect to make in the first year as um, a graphic designer? Uh, how much will you make if you're successful, if you're good, if you're great, whatever? Um, it all depends. You can be the best web, de web designer, graphic designer out there. It, it's all kind of a combination of, of different situations, um, companies, a little luck helps. So <clears throat> if you're one thing I've suggested in other videos, if you're really good at one thing or, or, or try to be good at very, or try to be really good at one thing like illustration, graphic design, web design, pick one. Now, it doesn't hurt to have other areas. I mean, just, just a background of like, for instance, I'm a designer. I do know web design. I took it. I studied it for a little bit, but I just wasn't a programmer, so I didn't get too deep into it. But I do know the basics. So it, it's good to know, have a, have a, a, a little um, bit of a, a, a kind of a rounded experience, but don't be too rounded because if you're just kind of okay at everything, you're really not going to fit in, in anywhere. So as far as getting, uh, it, that's a tough question. It just depends on a bunch of, uh, bunch of things. I would, if your first year, usually getting an intern job, if you can get an intern job, it's very competitive just for an internship. I never got one. In fact, I never worked for another design studio. So it's kind of a disadvantage because I don't really have a reference to other how other design studios work other than being business partners with a few of them and just talking to them. But uh, as far as... Um, as far as how much you're gonna make, I really can't tell you. You can make eight to twelve bucks as an intern. You can make fifteen to twenty bucks as a entry designer. You can make twenty-five to thirty-five dollars as a as a more of a advanced designer. Now you gotta also think when you're working for a company, they have overhead. They have to make a profit. They have salespeople they're paying for. They have website marketing they're paying for. They got tons of things they're paying for. So. If you're freelancing, yes, you can make more money. Say, because you know, seventy-five dollars, fifty dollars, twenty-five dollars an hour, maybe even more, hundred bucks, maybe even further than that. If you just, if you're just slammed with work and everything's going, everything's going great, and you can demand that from a client. But if you're going into a company, don't expect to get seventy-five bucks an hour because you're just not going to get it. Uh, I, I have designers once in a while looking for jobs and. You know, we usually pay anywhere from, I would say, 12 to 15 bucks for an intern, all the way up to about $35, and maybe a little higher than that. But um, you know, not, we're not paying 50 bucks to 75 dollars for a designer. It's just there's no way because uh, we we have to make we have to bill our clients, and um, obviously we need to make a profit to keep things running. Uh, if you're a freelancer. You don't have any your the overhead your your own. If you can operate as a freelancer and make money, then yeah, you can. You know, no one's trying to sell your services. It's directly you're direct 
to the to the uh, context. There was no middlemen that cost you money like for us. So it's it's really depends on the situation and obviously depends on your skills. So it's a little bit a little bit of everything. Um, hope that answered a little bit or, or gave you an idea. I know I, I know people want sometimes they want answers solid answers like well how much you know what do you make and and well you know it's just it's all different there is in graphic design I've realized that there's no really solid answer pretty much for anything <laughs> so anyways I hope this helped uh, I will again I will start making more videos and uh, I think YouTube has extended the length from five minutes to ten minutes so I'm going to be doing a little bit make lengthier videos like this so um, thanks again and thank uh, and uh, please add some comments if you're you know questions whatever it just gives me more to uh, uh, talk about thanks.